All right, so yeah, this is what it looks like in game though. Um, you know, you got everything like this. And how do you access the e and B and change the settings? You hold shift and then click enter, and then boom, it pops up like this. You got all your settings right here. Um, if you don't, if you want your FPS back, basically all you gotta do is just hit, you know, under global, hit user effect, and you'll get a lot of FPS. I'm playing at 60 right now, 60. So. If I click the effect again, I get to about 40. So I, if, I, if I don't click the effect, the, the game starts to look like this. And I mean, I get 70 FPS, around 60, 70 FPS. Uh, but if I click it again, it looks beautiful. Got the shade, got all the ambient inclusion. And I get around 40, especially looking at this department because it's kind of like a wide map. So it's kind of, you know, glitchy. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks. You know, you got the shadow at the corners of the screen. That's really how I like it. So, um, I mean, that's my settings. But so let's get started on the effect, um, which you should have, which you shouldn't have. Uh, and that's for me. I mean, by all means, go check this out and definitely go figure out your own settings. But for my settings, you have to use this A original post processing. If you don't use this, your screen will look like this. And that's just very simple. Always click that. That's the first one. Original bloom. There's no difference. I mean, it's just gonna have original a bloom uh, from the actual NVE mod. I mean, if you if you want it, you can have it. If you don't, then you don't have to have it. You will not see a major difference in it. So use original aberration and lens distortion. Uh, you don't really need that. I mean, you could turn that off if you want. I mean, you you can't really see a difference every time I click on it. So I mean, that's that's not really anything important. Enable post pass shader. Uh, you might want to have that on. Enable adaptation, that's not really needed. Enable bloom, that's something original uh, for the original bloom. If you want that on, you can have that on. If you don't, then you don't have to. Depth of field, uh, that's actually what I had on right now. Uh, you can actually see if I turn it on, you look at the buildings up there. You see that? Everything's all blurry. So that's depth of field if you don't know what that is. Uh, if you turn it off, you can actually see in the corners uh, that is blurry. You know, you can't really see out in the uh, you know extended distance. So. I mean, if you want depth of field on, you don't have to have it. I mean, you can, but I mean, I, I have it on sometimes. Sometimes I don't. So I'll just leave it off for now. Uh, the, we're trying to save FPS here. So ambient inclusion, you want this on. You want this on. This is like what shows the game. Like you see this? This is off. This is on. You, you want this. This is off right here. I mean, you still see it ambient inclusion because I have my actual in-game settings on high, which we're going to get to. Uh, but you know for the E and B menu you want this on because it's like it's kind of what defines NVE itself The ambient inclusion and everything and the shaders and stuff. So you might want to have that on uh, Surface scattering uh, you don't really need that on I mean you could but I mean you you really won't really see a difference uh, Skylighting that's actually what makes the game look a little bit darker uh, Which is what you probably will want uh, kind of kind of go hand in hand with ambient inclusion. So I mean you might want to have that on I have that on uh, Detailed shadow uh, You don't really have to have this. I mean especially if your in-game settings are uh, High with the shadow and it's starting to rain. Oh, wow. well actually you can see how it looks in the rain Kind of beautiful uh, But yeah, uh, let's get straight back into it <laughs> uh, So detailed shadow you don't you don't really need but I mean if you want to have it on you can uh, normal map shadow. Uh, I mean, you don't really have to have that on. It's just another necessity. Enable sprites. You can have that off. Rain reflection. If you don't want the the realistic rain reflections, like let me show you over here. It's actually, perfect. <laughs> it started raining as soon as I needed it, right? Uh, so you see those rain reflections on the ground right there, and actually shows you like the light pole and everything. It looks beautiful like that. But if I have that off, you can't see that. I mean, it's going to have rain reflections, but it's not going to be as high quality as it could be, you know. So if you want to have that on, you can. Uh, shore, you don't need that at all. Water, you don't need that at all. Uh, I mean, you can always have it on if you want. But I mean, me, I'm trying to save FPS and the game still looks amazing. Uh, so, you know, you don't really need any of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the E and B menu. I mean, you could also... For the NB menu, you can also like change the keybind so you can open the menu. So say you're running and you're running after somebody in 5M or something like that, or just GTA, you're just running and you press shift enter by mistake. Uh, you can always change this. Uh, so this is shift. So I can press, uh, 
I can press page up and then enter so I can I can use any of this stuff so if I want to click page up then as soon as I do that I can click page up and plus enter and then the menu opens instead of shift enter so you can always change your key binds and stuff like that or you can just hit no key I mean you can't open your menu you have to reinstall the mod but I mean yeah this is a FPS limiter you don't really need any of that crap everything already kind of goes for your computer um, so yeah that's pretty much that got a lot of this stuff as well you can also like uh, for the vehicles your emergency vehicles if you added the brighter emergency lights you can always go to vehicle and then you can actually emitter intensity intensity let me actually show you guys let me actually show you guys because it's, it's gonna be good so as you see I got the 2014 uh, police this is the brighter emergency lights this is the max um, so if I go to emitter intensity and click that it's on one by default say I put it put in 10 that's 10 you see that you see the big difference see I was like like crazy going crazy now say I put it on 100 look at that <laughs> look at that yep so that's how it looks basically uh, you can always change the emitter intensity it's always in the vehicle section under the ENB menu uh, but that's pretty much it for the ENB for me uh, especially so um what why is not okay there we go <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much that. So now we're going to go into the in-game settings. So right now, uh, always have this on. Let's just go through the entire in-game settings to make your game look nice. Uh, it, even for me, these are my settings. Uh, so the FXAA, turn that on. You always want to have that on, even without NBE. You want to have that on because your game will kind of... If you see like the small little details your game will not really look as clear like the clarity will not be as clear um, you know it's, it's kind of like like little spikes little spikes even if you get inside the vehicle it's like, like little spikes that you can see I don't know if you see it on the camera but I mean that's that's what I had to deal with MSAA that's unnecessary you can leave that off uh, if you have this V-Sync on turn it off you don't really need V-Sync uh, V-Sync is kind of a, a FPS killer anyway. Uh, pause game with focus loss. I have that off. Uh, population density all the way down. Population verity all the way down. These these uh, basically have to do with AI. And you don't really want that up because your game will lag. Uh, distance scaling. I have that all the way up. Occasionally I will turn it down like halfway so I can save FPS. Uh, but you know things will not render in the distance. So you might want to have that on extended uh, te texture budget I don't have that on unless your game is really laggy and you losing like a lot of texture you always have that up texture quality I have that on high it's good to have it on high but I mean if you turn it on normal you can actually see my video memory go all the way down so that's pretty good uh, but texture quality will not be high like the roads like the stop signs and stuff everything will not really look as decent as it could be uh, so I would actually have it on high some people have it on very high so I mean I have it on high that's just me uh, shader quality I have it on high shadow quality I have it on very high um, reflection quality I have it on high reflection MSAA I have it on off um, I don't I don't really understand it so I just don't turn it on <laughs> water quality particle quality and grass quality all on normal yeah basically I don't need any of that stuff uh, so I don't really need I, I don't really use it um, soft shadows I have it on soft sometimes I have it on sharp depending on the graphic mod I have in uh, so usually I use sharp, uh, sharp or soft uh, I don't really go past that so I mean you can have it on whatever you want as I said uh, post FX this is very important you want to have it on very high or ultra using NVE because if you don't then the game will not look as good that's what it looks like so the E and B, like the you know the ambient inclusion and everything, nothing, nothing is really as it could be, you know, like the potential. Uh, but if I turn it back on high, it looks like that. You know what I'm saying? It looks more clear. Everything looks more beautiful. You know what I mean? Even in the rain. So, and I can't stop the rain. So if it's annoying you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, motion blur strength I have it all the way down to zero some people will have the enhanced motion blur mod with the NBE I don't have that um, sometimes I add it in especially if I'm doing like a cinematic video uh, but motion blur strength all the way down in game uh, depth of field effects off uh, sometimes I have it on that's actually way better than the EMB menu depth of field um, anastropic filtering sometimes I have that to x16 or x8 
uh, it's, it's really good sometimes but I, most of the time if my texture quality is high then I will have this all if my texture quality is normal I would have that all the way to x16 ambient inclusion that's actually pretty important so you might want to have that on high if you have it on normal I mean it's still fine but it's not gonna be at its full potential you have it off then of course it's gonna be way bad so I have it on high tessellation that's off so yeah that's pretty much it make sure you use directs x11 because if you go down to 10.1 or 10x or 10 or something like that then I mean it's just gonna be horrible the game is gonna look really bad but yeah that's pretty much it for that advanced graphics have everything on off uh, no extended anything your game will look way better if you have everything on high but I mean that's up to you it depends on your game depends on your computer but yeah that's pretty much it but yeah guys if you like this video if you want more I can definitely go back in depth it's a lot of stuff that we could talk about you know for 5m NDE any other graphic mod that you guys will want me to uh, show you and you know teach you about if you want any more you know guides on anything such as graphic mods or even 5m itself then let me know in the comment section below uh, thank you though. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. It's your boy Jay Wilson tuning up. Hey,